Hey, what's up guys? So I'm in Southern China in Guangxi and I'm at China's newest glass bridge. All right, now we're getting ready to head up to the glass bridge. With our tour guide, this is Gui Hua. Hello. So she is our tour guide for the day. And so she's gonna be filling us in on some of the history and what it took to build this amazing structure. All right, so before you get on the glass bridge, they ask that you have a glass of wine. So we have a glass of local red wine that's made from rice. It helps loosen you up for the walk. All right, so we're just walking onto the glass bridge for the first time right now. So they just opened this bridge February 8th, 2018. So literally just a few days ago. So we're one of the first people to walk on this. It's 280 meters long. And uh, from my understanding, it's one of the longest in China. Uh, they're giving us really special treatment and um, the boss himself has been giving me private tours. So a lot of the stuff I'll be showing you is behind the scenes of what's going on here and what this place looks like. So they just opened a few days ago again and I just asked the tour guide how many people have been scared, what people's reactions are. She said one person passed out when they, when they saw the, the ground. <laughs> they passed out and other people, they, they just kind of fall to the ground and they have to kind of push them or drag them along. So the design of this glass bridge is really amazing. You can see about every two meters there's a concrete arm that extends out from the rock wall itself and it's fastened to that and then that's what the glass is sitting on top of to create this glass bridge. So another good thing about the bridge is if you are too scared to actually walk on the glass, they do have a little bit of a shoulder that you can walk on, like she is. So obviously the glass bridge here is really cool, but this town has a lot more to offer. The history here is really important. They would make a medicine here called Shindan, an English that translates to elixir of life. And it's a special medicine that they would give the highest king in China. And it's said that this special medicine would help the king live longer. So now I'm at one of the most famous and important sites here in Dan Lushan. So behind me is this giant gourd, and this is one of the largest in the world. And this symbolizes something that they used to have in the past when they would make the medicine for the king, and they would store the medicine in this kind of a gourd. So now this building is here to represent and honor the past history of this village, as well as bring luck to the people that live here. So one of the really cool things about Danlu Village is they're really opening it up to tourism. And so right now they're really building the infrastructure here. So they're allowing you to come and stay at a family homestay if you would like, have traditional meals, and see what the everyday life is like here. All right, now we're gonna take a look inside one of the traditional homes and see what they're cooking for lunch. Take 
So we're sitting enjoying the fire now in the local Hello, home. Buddy. They're cooking up some pork meat right now. So they're letting it slowly simmer. And the fire feel, feels really warm because it's kind of cold outside today. So this is kind of the middle of February. All right, so we're finishing up here in the village and now we're getting ready to head up to the top of the mountain where there's the king's palace and also where they would make the medicine for the king. So we just passed through the first gate that I just that we just saw where those two armed guards were. So that would be the first gate and there's two more gates that follow before you get to the king's palace. Now we're coming up to the second gate. This is where they would lock the door. Okay, now we're going through the third wall. So this is on the way to the king's palace, so only the king and like the highest people could come up here, right? This is where the king's palace was. So what's the name of this place? Cool, Alright, so we're on top of the mountain now, and this is the place that they would uh, make the medicine to give the local king, and also send up to Xi'an and Beijing to give those kings the medicine as well. It's really so amazing being up here at the top of this mountain. Not only is it really quiet and fresh air, but to see just the history here and to feel the age of these rocks and everything here, it just feels like it's been here for it's forever, literally. So as you can see, Danlu has a lot of really cool things to see, and I really recommend that if you have the chance, you come here to experience it yourself. So I want to give a huge thank you to the development leaders here at Don Lushan. This video would not have been possible without them. So I want to thank you for your graciousness, for hosting me, for feeding me, and for teaching me all about this amazing place. <laughs> Oh, yeah.